Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Little Curves and today I have come up with a wedding series again. So, let's get started. about to come to an end now and uh, I hope you are enjoying you like do write down in the comment section how you found this DDD and today wedding series I'm going to talk about the perfect partner for yourself I'm not an expert to talk about this but I have my own experience and my own story to talk about it so I have put up some points when you choose a right partner for yourself Okay, so number one thing is never, never, ever look onto the looks like because see looks do matter because see there's a attraction kind of thing but it shouldn't go beyond that like you know thodi si naak tirchi hai ya ek hot patla hai ya sar pe do baal extra hai. If you go so deep inside, you will never ever find a right partner for yourself. So looks do matter. into some extent when there is attraction you know you have a criteria like if someone asks me i wanted a guy who is very tall heighted and uh, very broad and you know i didn't wanted muscular or lean kind of people that's what is my kind of attraction towards and i am so blessed that i got uh, someone who is like 6'4 and he is broad enough not muscular but broad enough which i wanted so you know you have your own criteria like there are many many guys and i've seen who loves girls who are little heavy you know if even if they are lean so they love because they get attracted so you know these things small things do uh, take into consideration but not very very small things like you know every minute detail of your features and everything do not take it into consideration any time okay now comes the second thing second thing i would love to say that it's financial stability that's really very important please don't take me wrong into this that okay fine just because you got a good husband who is uh, financially very stable you want others but it doesn't happen no it's for the long term basis even if you're go going for a love marriage or uh, arranged marriage Ma uh, money matters it's not because you are into that relationship tomorrow you are going to have a family also tomorrow their future is to some extent dependent on you i mean their studies and you know early growing stages of life it is dependent on you so that thing you should keep in consideration you know you are not working just for your needs or uh, you're not working just for your basic necessities you're also working for the other wants in life you have so you know these two things should be taken into consideration and today social media plays a very important role whenever we see someone else uh, enjoying their holiday or anything else we crave for it and we want the same life so for that you have to be very particular to see where you stand as well as where your partner stands okay so financial stability at this point is important not like love is not important at all and only money matters no not at all that way but at least capable enough that you can eat you can afford your bread jam that's it okay so this should be their criteria and not only love now comes the third thing so third thing is understanding each other giving each other space that's really very important between two partners and that's what you should choose like you know there are times when you don't like to talk to each other or there are times when you don't like you're busy in to your work or you don't want anyone to be very possessive and just standing on to your head always and uh, space really matters so the a guy or a girl who gives you that enough space and respects that that's really very important and this importance is when when you know you are working in a uh, sector or where if you are going you have a friend circle which has mixed group that is girls and boys like i am a girl so my husband i would expect him to give me that space that even if i am with some other guy or even if i am working with some other boy or you know with opposite sex he should be uh, mature enough to understand this space okay so that is really very important if someone respects you 
he is the ideal guy for you okay or she is the ideal person for you it goes vice versa then comes the fourth thing fourth thing is family consideration it's not just you both are together it's two families coming together and respecting each other's family is really very important and that only comes when you open up all your cards with each other it's really very important while choosing a perfect partner for yourself is opening up all your cards you know no family is perfect if i have some flaws like if my family has so do other family has so you know you should be mature enough to keep those cards in front and the other person should be mature enough to understand it okay fine and then deal with it and family really plays a very important role it's not that only girls family like theek hai tumhe har baar jhukna hi hai and the boys family should be raised up you know they should be like somewhere very superior kind of people no it's not that way both the family should given equal importance and that should be always always is taken into consideration but see like in my family i am the only girl or we have we are just two sisters we don't have a brother so you know my uh, role towards them is also there it's not just like i am married so my role is over here only i have my duties there also and that there will it will be forever with me even if i'm not physically present i i am always mentally present there as well as here you know that balance should be there and that only happens when two partners work very perfectly with each other and they understand or give each other that respect in this criteria okay then comes the fifth thing this is really very important is this i would really appreciate if you start doing it to get a perfect man or a perfect uh, female or a woman for yourself it's very important to be mature enough to understand the what that person is made up of you know and this also uh, includes their past which nowadays no one wants to uh, disclose or no one wants to say but you know there comes incidents where you know there are some outsiders they come into the picture and they create nuisance so better i would say whenever you're choosing a life partner for you if he or she accepts you with your past that means that they are mature enough to understand you that's really very important so you know don't be scared when it comes to choosing your life partner either i should talk to him or her about my past whatsoever would have happened it's better to discuss it beforehand you know so that uh, you both know each other that what difficulties you have gone through and later that will not come those circumstances will be avoided in life okay so that's really very important i get so many emails so many messages where uh, people talk to me like where is it important to discuss their past with their you know fiance or husband i would say very much because this relationship is a very new chapter in your life which should be because and it's not that you are just for 9 to 5 job that you are together you are together for lifetime so it's better that you discuss with each other everything and please consider this point whenever you are finding the perfect match for you okay please please uh, take this thing into consideration if you are not bold enough to speak in front you can either do an email or a whatsapp mes- message where you can just write down your story give the other person chance to read it whenever he or she finds it comfortable you have played your role okay so that's really very important these points do matter even trust loving each other being creating that bond or you know being supportive these all things matter but you know i keep priority to these five things first because they will uh, really help me to decide my other goals like other couple goals that is trust or being friendly with each other or anything if me if i get that space if i get if my parents get that respect if my past gets that respect if i am emotionally and financially stable these all things will 
bring a good marriage a perfect marriage okay a good marriage into a perfect marriage and i think that i'm not an expert again but i think these five should be always kept into consideration and these eventually these things will only bring that trust or security or you know that love towards each other understanding and everything it will bring but these five things should be always kept into consideration and i hope you have enjoyed this video too do subscribe to my channel hit the button like and stay tuned for more and more videos thank you thank you so much for watching and ddd is coming to an end i hope you will miss it just the way i will miss it and uh, there are new surprises coming in january so stay connected